Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how you can improve and integrate your Windows 11 installation on a virtual machine on your Linux system. You will learn how to pass through any USB device, how to create shared folder to sync files between the host and the guest and how to integrate Windows 11 seamless with an RDP connection with a remote desktop connection. This tutorial is based on the video that is already available for you about the installation of Windows 11 on a KVM and Virt Manager managed virtual machine. And if you like this content and the video, please subscribe to my channel. Let's jump in. With KVM and Virt Manager, you can pass through any USB device from the Linux host to the Windows guest. In my case, I want to pass through the external hard drive that you see here in my file manager to my Windows 11 installation. With KVM and Virt Manager, you have two possibilities. The first one is a temporary USB pass through and the second one is a permanent pass through. We are here in my Windows 11 virtual machine. Let's start with the temporary solution. I click here on virtual machine and redirect the USB device. Then I select my external hard disk and click on close. Windows 11 has now detected the external drive and I can open the Explorer and here is my external USB drive integrated into my Windows 11 virtual machine. For the permanent solution, I have to shut down the system and click on the information icon. Then add hardware and I add a USB host device and I select again my external hard disk and click on finish. And when I now start up my system, the USB device is connected from the beginning after the login to your Windows 11 virtual machine. And with this, you can pass through any USB device. It can be an external hard disk, a USB stick, a USB printer, everything is possible and easy to manage with Vit Manager. With KVM and Vit Manager, you can create a shared folder between the host and the guest. And this is super useful if you want to transfer bigger files from the host to the guest and backwards. In order to set up a shared folder, we have to create a folder in your home directory that you want to share between the both systems. Let's do this with mkdir share. And this will create a folder named share. To use this folder as a shared folder, you have to click in your virtual machine configuration on memory and enable shared memory. Now we have to create a virtiofs file system. You click here on file system. In you see virtiofs is selected. I click here on browse, browse local, go to my home directory and select the new folder share and the target path is the name of the folder then in the guest system. I name it share as well. Click on finish. Now we can launch the virtual machine. Now we have to install an additional software in your Windows 11 virtual machine. The software is called WinFSP. We open a browser that is installed in the virtual machine and go to GitHub. Here, this software can be downloaded by clicking here on download Win. FSP and WinFSP enables Windows 11 to access Linux file systems or other file systems. When the download is done, we can install by starting the installer, click on next. All the default settings are fine. Yes, I want to install and we can click on finish. The next software that we need to install are the latest virt.io drivers in the uh, Windows 11 guest. To do this, I open the download page of virt.io. I click here on stable and I download the virt.io winguesttools.exe. Okay, download is done and we can start. I click on agree. 
and start the installation. So no additional settings required and I click on finish. Installation successfully and close. What we now have to do is to restart the virtual machine. So restart is done. Now we need to start a special service within Windows 11. To do this, I enter services into the search bar and I scroll down and search for the WIRT.io FS service. So let's start this service. And the service is started successfully. And now you can find the shared folder here in your Windows Explorer. Let's test it. I create a new file, a text document with the name 1234.txt. And when I switch back to my Linux host and CD into the share folder, you can see the new file 1234.txt. I can rename the file with move to 1234.txt. I can open the file with Wim. I can add the text. I can save the file. And now we can switch back to the virtual machine and see if the change is available. Here is the new file and here is the text that I have entered in the Linux host into the file. If you want to activate this service virtiofs from with the boot up of the Windows 11 virtual machine, then you can click on virtiofs service on properties and select here a startup type automatic. And with the next boot up, this shared folder will be integrated automatically from the beginning into your Windows 11 installation. The best way to integrate Windows 11 installed in a virtual machine into your Linux installation is an RDP connection, a remote desktop connection from your Linux host into the Windows 11 guest. And you can do this with the software X Free RDP. And with that, you will see that Windows 11 will react like any other application on Linux. Let's do this. First of all, we need to activate the remote desktop connection. To do this, we have to open the system settings and search for remote, remote desktop settings. And here on top, you have to activate the remote desktop connection. The next is currently I log in into the system with a pin, means with an online user. If I want to connect with RDP, I need a local user, but I can transform that online account into a local account. To do this, I click here on my name, then on your info, and select here in the account settings, sign in with a local account instead. To confirm, I have to enter my PIN and then I can select a username. I select my last name and I enter a password and a height. Now I have to sign out then we can go back to the Linux host and install X3 RDP. X3 RDP is easy to install. You can use sudo pacman s free RDP. It's already installed on my system, so I don't need to reinstall it. And now we can start the connection. To use 
free RDP, you can enter X free RDP. And you see several more parameters to start the application are required. This command is required to start free RDP and connect to your Windows 11 virtual machine. We need to start X free RDP. We will grab the keyboard. That means that we can interact like any other application than with the window um, that opens with the Windows 11 virtual machine. We need the IP of the Windows 11 installation. This is easy to find out. Go back to your virt manager, click on the information tab of your virtual machine, then on your network adapter, and then you can copy the IP address. Let's go back and enter here the IP address. The username is the same username of your local user. The size of the window should be 100%. And then we add additional parameter to improve the graphics performance, dynamic resolution, GFX H264, and the parameter plus GFX Progressive. And now let's give it a try if we are able to connect to Windows 11. I have to trust a certificate between the host and the guest once. And the password now is needed that you have defined of your Windows 11 local user. And then we can start and the system will log in into the Windows 11 virtual machine. Now we can use all key mode now the commands that we have configured, for example, in the virtual manager. And Windows 11 will not react on this. For example, I can increase the window size with my Qtile key command. I can switch to another desktop. And you also see that there is no menu bar anymore visible. So really, full integrated now Windows 11 into your Linux desktop. If you don't want to enter this command all the time when you want to uh, access your Windows 11 virtual machine by RDP, then of course you can create a script for that. You can create a bash script with the name vm.sh and in the first command you start the virtual machine, then we wait for 30 seconds until the Windows 11 has booted up completely and RDP is available. And then we start the X free RDP command, this time with an additional parameter P for your password of the local Windows 11 user. With change mod plus X vm.sh, you make this file executable and then we can just start it with dot slash vm.sh. The virtual machine has started now. You can see it here. And now we wait for 30 seconds. The system is now booting up in the background. And here is your virtual machine. And you can close the terminal and the virtual machine is running on your Linux desktop via RDP. And that's it for today. Now you have a fully configured Windows 11 installation in a virtual machine based on KVM and Virt Manager on your Linux system and use it on your daily business. Thanks for watching and see you next time.